What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 25th node or rather express again I should say tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be finally creating a simple web application which would just authenticate the administrators or the moderators of your website. So if you are kind of looking for a membership based website then you might want to implement a login feature and to do that you can make use of node.js using this tutorial so this tutorial is gonna be a real simple one I'm not going to go deep into security implementation and all that stuff but obviously you need to do that when, once you are deploying your application online so to begin with I have created the simple login.html inside my files directory which just simply says that it's redirected to the login page and then method is post and then these three input values then we have this script 19.js which was the tutorial the 19th one in which we made use of the post request first time so without wasting any time I'm just gonna copy and paste this whole bunch of code right there and uh, yeah so once you're done with this we need to include a bunch of more files so I'm just gonna get rid of this file system for now and the path one as well and uh, I'm gonna get rid of this one as well and probably I'm gonna get rid of this one as well so we'll be just making use of this files index.html or whatever we'll place there so I'm gonna get rid of this one as well and this one as well so now our app looks kind of neat but we need a bunch of stuff as well so for examples I need a sessions and require express session and uh, these sessions would actually enable me to make use of um, sessions like you had on you have on Facebook like if you log in on Facebook and just close the tab or go to some other page then when you come back to it you don't have to log in again so that is because of sessions Facebook stores some sort of data on your browser and once you visit the Facebook website again it the browser sends data back to server and then Facebook authenticates you without you know creating any fuzz or requiring you to log in again so again what I'm gonna do is then we need to install this express session because it's not as it is available so let's just say npm install express session and make sure you're on the same directory so we are done with it little package so the next thing is that I actually want to create a session so how do I do that well first of all let's just create var um, what do you call it let's just say session and this is a global variable so that we can access it in our application somewhere so I'm gonna say when this is post to login actually so let's just say these both to login and whenever there's a post request to login then what I want to do is that I want to say if request dot body dot um, username is equal to admin and request dot body dot password is equal to admin then I want to probably create a session session dot ID is equal to uh, let's just say this is request dot body dot username now this might seem a bit weird because we are just simply assigning session dot id as request dot body dot username without any encryption or something so to do that first of all let's just make use of a bit of encryption and to do that we can make use of app dot use then we have session then we have a lot of stuff here so we have secret as the secret would be the you can say a kind of key which would make use of you know 
which would be made use to encrypt this data which is request.body.username so this should be only available to your web server only so let's just say this is some random bunch of stuff so this could be anything you want but make sure it's um, you know not guessable otherwise this could be decoded so <clears throat> the next thing you can either make use of this one or you will get a warning or to just avoid a warning you can just go ahead with json and app.use body parser <coughs> dot url encoded encoded yep extended true well both of them means technically the same thing but that body parts or constructor would be um, going as deprecated real soon so you might consider using this one so again we have this thing right here set it up correctly and uh, we are setting a session here then inside the get okay so finally we need to send a response so what I'm gonna do is response dot redirect to uh, redirects so right here we'll manage our, all of our redirects so I'm gonna say app dot get redirects function request response and this should be probably inside that and I'm gonna say if there's a session dot ID then what I want to do is uh, response dot redirect to admin otherwise I'm gonna say response dot end who are you so that's pretty much for this application and uh, let me see if you are missing anything no it doesn't look like so let's just try to run this I'm gonna say nodemon script 25.js okay so there we say session is not a function oh this should be sessions I guess uh, let me just run that again okay so we are good to go we got a couple of warnings here undefined resave and save initialized well you can just get rid of them actually by making use of this resave either true or false boolean here and this one as well so so as you can see the errors are gone the warnings kind of so again let's just visit the login page okay nice your good name well let's just point this to login.html reload again we are good to go so this should be let's just say abcd abcd login okay so we have got can set headers after they are sent uh huh. Post response dot end. Oh, this should be commented out, I guess. Reload. ABCD. ABCD. Login. Cannot read property ID of undefined. Okay. Session dot ID. Where are we? Probably I should say that this is session is equal to request dot session I guess I missed upon that so yeah you need this line as well so again we would need the same line here as well so that we can just access the same session again and again and not create a new one every time so login ABCD ABCD hit enter cannot get admin that's good but why are we even redirected to admin uh, okay redirects we are redirected to redirects that's good enough then we can console log our session and if I go to login again then we have ABCD ABCD login 
okay so we have session as cookie this path expires null session dot id use session dot id then login abcd abcd okay so we have a id right there right all right <coughs> so if i kind of change this to unique id and what about that okay login okay so that might be the case that id was already registered with sessions so just made use of some other variable name right there so again now since this is a session we are actually not getting we are actually getting the same page so to fix that we can again make use of a simple thing if session dot id is set then request or response dot redirect to redirects simple enough and for post as well and for get as well so reload okay so we need this one again reload who are you login all right so to kill the session what we can make use of is that if I just create a link here href slash logout kill session and if I add another path here app dot get logout function request response now to kill the session what we can do is <coughs> I can say uh, request dot session dot destroy function and inside this this is the basically callback function and the parameter I guess is the error one so if there's sort of error you can just console log it and redirect the user to response dot redirect to login so let's just take a look at this again login okay so that looks like we are just rendering some sort of text only there so let's just leave that for that only uh, let's just visit this directly we can make use of request dot send actually okay so This should be unique ID. Pretty much missed upon that. Simple. Unexpected token at unique ID. Not a worry. Login. Admin. Admin. Hit enter. We are redirected to admin. Simple enough. Let's go to logout okay we don't have any sort of content set there so this is gonna wait forever login abcd abcd enter who the f are you so that's how you pretty much create a basic login app with express and node and in the real life you would be making use of not like this line you'll be actually requesting it from some sort of database like mongodb or something like that so i'm gonna cover that as well really soon and that might be in a different playlist so for this tutorial i guess that's pretty much it and in the next tutorial we'll be covering more on this application and would we'll be enhancing it a little bit for some sort of security features or something like that so if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching